Good morning. What's your name? Tessia. Uh, today I'm going to teach you place value. Do you know what is place value is? No. Okay. So let's start to do now. She doesn't know place value. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach her place value two different ways. The first traditional way and the second creative way. Let's see which way she understand it better. And this is how we try to understand how children learn. Do not. I'm going to give you a value. Can you find the place value of this value? What is the place value of this? 32. 32 is a number. It's a two digit number. And what, is, this place? what is the place value of two? And what is the place value of three? I don't know. She does not know. Now I'm going to teach her in a traditional way. Okay. So I'm going to write down. What is this? One. One. What is this? A two. Ten. These are the place value. So one, ten. What is this? One, ten. Hundred. What is this? Hundred. Thousand. Thousand. What is this? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. What is this? Good. What is this? Ten thousand. Million. Million. Okay, so these are the place value. Now, can you put thirty-two? Put thirty-two on this place value. So this is the place value. What color do you want to use? Red. Red. Go ahead. Write thirty-two. So as you see, she has no understanding of the place value. She put 32 in a very wrong place. That means she does not have any understanding of place value. Now, let's uh, change this strategy. And let's see how she understand. Today we're gonna learn base 10. What is it? Base 10. What is base 10? Why not base 2? Why not base 8? Why base 10? What is base 10? I don't know. Let's see your hand. How many hands you have? Just 10. Two hand, right? How many fingers do you have all together? That makes 10. That's right. That's why we use base 10. That makes 10. Ten so popular. Why do you use base ten? Tell me. Look at me. I use base ten because because we have because we have ten fingers. That's right. That's so right. Now we want to make it a little abstract because we cannot use hand. Even if you use hand, we always gonna run out of fingers. Now we have to use. Symbols. When you do have ten fingers, so that's what you One symbol represents one finger. Alright. Once one one symbol represents one finger. Zero. So I have zero. We're gonna call this one? Yeah. One. Yeah. We're gonna put one. We're gonna call this one? One. Two. We're gonna have put two. We're gonna call this one? Three. We have three. We're gonna call this one? Three. Zero, one, two, three. We're gonna call this one? Four. Then we have yeah. four. So th if this is four, what is this one? Five. Five. Six. We have to write five. Six. 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 Seven. See, now she is conditioning. She knows what is it next. Seven and then seven. Eight. There you go. Nine. 
Nine. And nine. Now, how, how, what do you call it? This is, what do you call it? No, no, no. We're going to focus on right here. I know your fingers now look good. But we're going to... Them That's different story. How many digits over here? Mm. How many digits over? Oh, what do you call them? Numbers. Digit. What are you gonna call them? Digit. Mm -hmm. How many digits do we have? We have one digit. No. How many digits do we have? Zero digit, one digit, two digit. No, no, no. Count. How many digits we have? We have nine digits, but we have ten fingers. So I think you have to think a little bit more. It at first glance. My friend Namira has more fingers. When I at her, first glance, but she has more two fingers because I will take her. Okay, at first glance, mm -hmm. we think that we have nine digits, but that's not what we have. How many digits we have? How many fingers we have? Nine. How many fingers we have all together in both hands? Forty. How many fingers we have all together? Five plus five, ten. So how many digits do we have? Nine. Ten. Ten. How ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is, what is the place value for this one? One, look, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I don't have any more fingers. No, we have 10 fingers. Don't think you have nine fingers now. All of a sudden, don't think you always have had 10 fingers. Just because I wrote a zero over there, don't think you lost one finger. You, you, you still have 10 fingers, okay? Last one. You did not lose any finger. Okay? So you still have how many fingers? Ten Nine. fingers. And we still have ten digits. Now we're gonna call it what? One. And then what are you, what are you gonna call it? Two. Ten. ten. Hundred. Thousand. Ten thousand. Hundred thousand. And then? Million? million? 10 million? 10 million? 100 million? 100 million? And billion. Billion. Okay? The billion starts with a letter G. Right. Now, I'm going to give you another chance of writing, putting the place value of this two. Go ahead, try now. Now we have a little bit more background. Go ahead, try. Try to put them in the place value. Yeah, put them in the place value right here. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Where the two you should write? That's what you did before. I already did two in the back. Uh, that's what you did before. Now what do you want to do? Put the three in the front. Where, where are you going to put two? No, you have how many choice? How many options? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Options. Where do you put two? Here. Put the two. You put the two in the back. Where are you going to put two? Here or here? Here. Where do you want to put two? Here or here? Here. Put it. Now put three. Three goes here. <laughs> so she improved a lot. <coughs> but I'm not 100% sure whether she guessed it or she understand it. Now comes the understanding part. But I always give a benefit of doubt. Let's see. Let's say she understands it like 10%. You need 10% understanding to make guess. Okay? So folks, learning is taking place. But let's take this learning one step further. We want to use the hands-on. Because children learn faster, better, in a hands on. Check. Then give me one candy.
Say it. One, say one. 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 No, say it. Two. 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 <laughs> Three. Say it. Four. Four. Uh huh. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. We we have lots of candy left out. But it seems like we ran out of numbers. What are we gonna do? Ten. What are we gonna do? Ten. But we don't have places. But you are right. We have to use 10. But how do we use 10? By reusing the same digit. One and a zero. One and a zero. So the 10. So now we are moving to another territory. I'm going to give you the candy and you're going to put them in the place value. What is this place value? This is group of what? One. Group of one. And this is group of? Ten. Group of ten. Okay. All right. So put this candy. Good. That's where it belongs. Eight, nine, ten. Hmm, we have a problem. We cannot put ten over here, right? We have ten candies. So this is now not a group of one. This is a group of ten. ten so we have to put them over here. In fact, we're gonna put them over here. I just write the ones. So we're gonna put them over here. We're going to put them over here. So, how many group of 10 we have? 10. How many group of 10 we have? One. One. Very good. We have one group of 10. One group of 10. So, we're going to put it over here. We're going to have one group of 10. No, no, put it over there. All right. Seven. Ten. 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 No, no, no. Hold on. At 10, you have to stop. We are using the conditioning now. This time she made mistake, and next time hopefully she won't make mistake. At 10, we have to move them to the box, making them a group of 10. How many we have now? How many we have now? Look, how many we have now? So now, how many group of 10 we have now? Sit, sit nicely. How many group of 10 we have? One. No, now we have? Ten. Two group of 10. How many group of 10? Two. One group of 10? Two group of 10. Two group of 10 makes how many candies? Two group of 10. Two group of 10 makes how many candies? All together, how many candies we have? No, how many candies we have? 10, no, 10 here and 10 here. How many candies we have? 20. 20. Very good. Now, that's our goal, okay? We have to stop at 32. That's our goal. So I'm gonna give you another bag. Go ahead, the last part you have to do. Where? Put the candy inside the bag. Let's see whether she can do it. You have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. Now, where do I put it? Should I put it on this place or should I move it here? Here now, how many? So, how many group of ten we have? Three tens. Oh, wow. wow! Three group of ten. Three groups of ten. 
10. Wow, this is a smart lady. Why are you so smart? Okay. You're so smarter than me. Yes. Okay. Now, how many groups of 10 do we have? How many groups of 10 do we have? One, two, three. So how many candies we have? Three. How many candies we have? Three group of ten. Okay, three group of ten. So how many candies we have? Ten plus ten plus ten. How many candies we have? Ten. They will probably be dirty. Dirty. <laughs> so how many candy we need? Thirty-two. So how many more we need? So how many more? We have 30. How many more candy we need? 32. Okay, how many more? We have 30 candies. But how many candies we need? 32. So how many more? We need just two. Two more? Okay, go take two and put them. Put them to the right place. Okay, where do you put them? Over here or over here? Yeah, where do you put them? Over here or over there? Be careful. Where do you put them? Very nice. Give me high five. You were a smart lady. Do you know that? What are you going to call it now? Two group of? Two group of one. Two group of one. And this is three group of? Ten. Three group of ten is how much? 30. And 30. two group of one is how much? Two. Two. So when we break down the 32, how do you break it down? What? Three group of 10. If we put a line, yes. it will be broke down. So three group of 10. Is and two group of? One. one. And that is 32. This, isn't it awesome? These all are your candy. Thank you. Take it home. Bye bye. Bye bye. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.